Hey folks, Carrick here and welcome back to part 3 of this primal walkthrough. In the last episode, we had a little bit of a hint about Jared's location, so we'll follow up on that. Nothing really in the water, so we'll just make our way up the top. Another torch there in case you didn't pick up the one earlier. The wall doesn't look too sturdy. The whole place hasn't looked too sturdy so far. I always find it quite funny that um, this, and I'm kind of doing air quotes here, puzzle was actually included in the demo at the start of the game. <laughs> you have like a rolling demo every time you um, don't press start for a long period of time. So obviously this is one of the harder puzzles in the game. <laughs> Just bring the millstone up to the top, roll it down and... There you go. There's your entrance. You can't actually progress in through this area unless you have a torch, so make sure you do pick one up. For some reason the game won't let you progress if it is dark. I'm not sure actually whether that changes whenever um, Jen gets a bit more combat awareness. also a lodestone in the barrel there as you can see so make sure you pick that up on the way lighten up as many of those orange as we can on the way make sure this area is good and lit I'm pretty sure there's no more lodestones Enough to break away through anyway, so I don't think it really matters. So that's us finished with the fair eye burrows. And just make our way up top again. save there, apologies for the skip. There is a teleporter just off to the left, you won't need it just yet, but just so you know it's there. Also switch to Jen at this point since there's a combat scene coming up. I think really Scree should invest in some kind of protection for those torches. It's like this breeze seems to be blowing them out at every opportunity at the moment. Pretty easy combat as per usual, nothing too stressing this early on, especially since we're only half an hour. Although we are grateful for it. Let's see if there's anything over here before we carry on. No, let's take it out. Another year's and then carry on. Dead fair eye over in the corner, bloodstained floor. I think we can guess what happened. Now this isn't a good sign. What is it? It's a piece of a fair eye's horn. It has an engraved tip. The symbol is similar to one used by Hearn's family. I guess we should show it to him then. Not only has screen I got the horn, Jen's Kind of pushing him towards showing his horn to her and Yeah, I went there, sorry. Moving swiftly along. <laughs> Out the back of the house and just over to the right, we come to this gate. Most of the gates in the game tend to be a two-person operation. Scree. Could you give me in the some early parts here? of the game you generally have both characters with you later on. Obviously they use it as a mechanism to keep you out of certain areas. They're splitting you up. Buggers they are. I think we'll need to split up here. 
I can climb down. I'm afraid you'll have to find another way. Already find it short, lad. Basically just wall hug your way around. A square already said he can easily climb down. Nope, nope, wrong direction. I love it when the camera points one direction and the controls kind of work another way. Okay, now we're safely across. Invent some anger on the way past. And then make a quick switch over to Scree and make sure he can get over to this side as well. Is part of the journey being probably a bit easier than Jen's in all fairness. We simply climb down this side, walk across and climb up the other. There tend to be a lot of puzzles like this during the game. You simply have to find two different routes around something. And since their skills are so very, very defined, it's usually not too hard. So I know we know we've passed that. To make our way through. Just basically follow the cave system, nothing too exciting. The main city is just off to the left here, as you can see in the distance. But we're not going to be taking the bridge just yet. There is a tarot card and something else we want to do. So we'll go and sort those out before making our way into the city. And again, just follow the cave. Once you're at the other side, you find this great big gateway that can't be opened. So just make your way around. And this is the first time we actually fight something that isn't Malkai. Slightly more difficult. Especially since the archer guy, well, he's not doing it now, but he usually stands away a little bit and attacks you. You'll also need to finish them. You say keep them dead. Combat's not any more stressful than it was before, to be honest. Oh. And once you're done, just make your way around to the side. Pull the lever to open the gate. Don't just yeah, stand there, on, this thing bones. weighs a ton. Which opens a big gate beneath us. And while we're here, just make our way around to the back, open the box, and pick up our next tarot card. In this case, is strength and refers to scree in game. That's pretty much us for this section. Now make our way back and start walking into town. As you can see, the gate's now gone. Nothing really I want to do over here at the moment. So back we go. Like I said before, most of this is acting in, instead of a tutorial level really, the early stuff before you get a first form, the fair eye form, is um, really kind of basic. So you have to bear with it. And just make your way across the bridge for another cutscene. Yes, there are that many. Get down. 
down, someone's coming. does not look like a welcoming committee. Casusdis is includi vitdeos jaluenari. The job to penny, but do the alheg didn't. Tur san jeep mo bedum ball hand. Deos need you boop caverbe. Tupid. Do a lasso san pen, but he saw. is a noble and just queen. Why would she have someone murdered like that? Guess she ain't the gal she used to be. The prisoner was no criminal. He was a shaman, a fair eye holy man. He spoke of uncovering Divina's secret and that there were others still loyal to her. We must find out what he meant. Wonder if Hearn knows about his wife's mean streak. I doubt it. And I don't relish the task of telling him. I don't really blame you. As per usual, the door's locked, so we'll have to find another way in. Need to wall hug across the gap as jam. And of course, switch back to Scree once you're finished and have him wander his slow, lonely way up the wall. Again, not much of a puzzle, really. I do like that little handstandy thing he does to get off. So now we're inside the city proper. Come on camera, there we go. As you walk into this clearing on the way, be a little bit of a combat scene. It's probably worth having jam. And there will be a combat scene. Come on. Oh, there we go. It's better. In the game, you can't actively activate and deactivate combat. The game has to do it itself, obviously. It glitches there a little bit. No idea why. Probably standing too close to the Malkai. Three of them this time, nothing major really. Just dispatch them in the usual manner. Take down some barrels if you feel like it. But the main focus now is to pick up the next tarot card, which is on the roof above us. Need to go just to the right of this little broken window thing. I'm not sure whether it's a break in the wall or whether it's a window. There's one above it, so probably a window. And pick up the next tarot card. This one being the Empress, which corresponds to Arella. And once you're done, just make your way back down the wall. And that brings us just about to the end of this episode. I've been Carrick the Pally, this has been Primal, 
You have a good evening.